I have been telling you, and not bragging, but never reminding you, that our battle is a spiritual battle. Our battle is a spiritual battle. It's a warfare between good and evil, right versus wrong. It's not physical, but most people don't see that. They do not see, and they don't believe that it's spiritual because they can only see with their physical eyes. They're not seeing from within. And it's hard for them. And, oh, and they'll say, yeah, oh, yeah, it's spiritual, but they don't know what you're talking about. Zero. Your battle, my battle, every human being on this side of heaven, battle is a spiritual battle. It's not personal. There is something inside of you and all human beings that is trying to destroy you. And it is pretending to be you. And you call it you. And as a result, it's winning. Though it has no power, no authority, zero, it's been defeated. It's winning against you because you call it you. You say that it is you. Isn't that amazing? They push anger. They tell you it's natural to be angry. How would you fight? How would you defend yourself if you're not angry? All human beings are angry, they say. And as a result, you fall for that as well. They tell you human beings are angry. It's good to be angry. Ah, Jesus was angry, and you fall for that. And anger, as, as all emotions are, so-called good emotion and bad emotion. Or set up. It's a trap. It's a trap. The good one build you up just to let you down. Angry people use the good, so called good emotion, to trap you into their web and they will destroy you. They will destroy you. They build you up to let you down. They tell you that anger is good. I want you to know, do what you want, of course, but I want you to know that anger is evil. Good feelings are evil. They're both imposters, and they are there to deceive you and to destroy you because they don't want you to return to God. They don't want you to realize there is a God. Truly realize, not just knowing about it intellectually. And last, last Friday, I mentioned, as well as I did on yesterday, Sunday, stay away from anger. Uh, when the great white hope Donald Trump trial is happening there in New York, and they, quote-unquote, found him guilty. Quote-unquote, they found him guilty. I sent out a warning, as I did during the, uh, the thing at the Capitol building there. Stay away from anger, you got to walk into a trap. Because when you're angry, you can't not see what you're doing. You can't see what you're doing. And I know I can't convince you that you can't see. You got to see for yourself that you can't see what you're doing because no one can convince you of anything. You got to want to see the truth. Now that they have so-called found the great white hope, Donald Trump, guilty or whatever, right? I'm telling you again, stay away from anger. They want you to be angry the enemy of good, the enemy of God. You may call them Democrats, media, right or Republicans, because there are never Trump or right or Republicans. Uh, they want you to be angry so that you can overreact and they're going to lock you up. They want a war, a civil war, and they're going to win and you're going to lose because you were angry. The best way to fight this fight or any fight, really, it's not to be angry. 
There is never, ever, 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 but never, ever, 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 ever a time to be angry. There's never a reason for anger, no matter what happened out there. But you got to see this. They w- Listen to young, white, conservative men. They want you to, they are like itching for you to overreact. They want you to so badly. That not only do they want to destroy Donald Trump, they want to destroy Donald Trump supporters. They don't want, it is, especially if you're white. But any Donald Trump supporter, they don't like you, but especially if you're white male. And God forbid if you have a little influence. I'm telling you now, I told you Friday and again, anger is evil. It's a trap. You walk right into a trap when you have anger. Do not get angry. You see Donald Trump is not, is not getting angry. He's not upset. He's just dealing with it. Deal with life without being angry about life. Maxine Water, the wicked witch of the West with the low IQ. She is like itching for you to do something crazy, to overreact. She wants you to. And not just Maxine, the wicked witch of the West with the low IQ, most of the politicians especially those in, in control over the last three to almost four years now. They want you locked up. They want you to fight. Maxine Water talk, talk about civil war in the aftermath of Trump conviction. Watch this from X. I am going to spend some time with the criminal justice system, with the justice system, asking them, tell us what's going on with the domestic terrorists. Are they preparing a civil war against us? Should we be concerned about our safety? What is he doing with this divisive language? It is dangerous, and we're going to have to make sure that we understand uh, that we're not at risk with this man talking in the way that he's doing. That's evil. And if you have anger inside of you and you see that evil Maxine Waters, it's going to encourage that anger even more so. She is pushing you to go and do something crazy. She knows you're not out there doing anything or plotting anything. Not you. If anything, they're doing it. They're doing what they're telling you, accusing you of. But don't fall for the anger. Stay calm. No matter what they say, no matter what happened with the great white hope from this point forward, you stay calm. In all things, stay calm. Maxine Water, they're pushing, they're edging you on. I saw this video given to me this morning about the anchor baby of Alan Jones. I saw a little bit yesterday. Alan Jones is warning you too about staying away from anger. Staying away from anger. Anger is evil. Look at your relationships. You don't have good relationships with no one, marriage, friendship, workship, or anything because you're angry. And anger divides. It doesn't unite. So according to the Daily Mail, Alan Jones, in a four-hour-long emergency broadcast, claimed that federal authorities are prepared to shut down his studio. He's claiming that. Despite all that, Alan Jones, oh, okay, the anchor baby is here, and he's going to explain, because I didn't know the whole story of this. I asked the anchor baby to come in. The anchor baby show is Monday through Thursday at 12 noon, the American anchor baby, and on Fridays at 4 p.m. And he's also an expert here, and he's here to explain what Alex, uh, Alex, Jones is saying. Good morning again, Anchor Good Baby. Good morning, thank you. Okay, so what's going on? Real quick, you know, I just wanted to flesh this out a little bit because I saw a little bit of his broadcast and he was quite emotional about it. And um, it's so interesting to see that too after Sunday, after everything you've been saying, after everything you've been warning people about. So, like he said, he's claiming federal authorities want to shut down his studio. And the way he puts it, if it's, if everything is true, what he says, it really is... Uh, a total overreach of the government. They have, like, no reasoning for it. And if you remember, he got hit with that $1.5 billion legal debt for the lies he said about Sandy Hook. And we're not supporting anything like that. 
but the man was just using what he says was his free speech. And I'm getting that from AP, by the way, 1.5 billion. AP? Which, yeah. And, and you know what's funny about that? That the families of Sandy Hook are saying that we'll settle for just $85 million. I would, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As fact, I settle for a million. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Just a million will I'll do. Tell you. That'll, that'll ease all of our pain. That's for but, sure. You know, they call him a fringe conservative and all that all over the articles. But they basically, he said in the deep state, they're trying to break. They, they had to sleep in his own studio that night to avoid, uh, to uh, stop the authorities from putting padlocks on his studio, according to him. And, um, and that's what he's been saying. I, I just wanted to kind of add that there. And it's what, why are they doing this to him? That's what's if unclear. It's and if he it's said, true, why are they doing it? That's what's unclear, oh. and he said that he wants to keep some details um, b- under wraps because he's working with lawyers and all that. Oh, okay. So he he isn't giving too many details out from what I've seen, but he's saying that he had to like sleep in there. So that and so should I play the soundbite? We're, let's play it here. Um, I just want to quickly say, yeah, oh, okay. you've been warning people about this um, since January 6th and all that. You even said at church that all we're doing is fighting each other. Yeah. Remember what you said about that? But when we would go out and protest, it's like, why? We're fighting each other. Right. Don't take sides. I was talking to some people over the weekend who are uh, anti-abortion, and they are mad because of the pro-abortion people be- deal this election time season about abortion. They're pushing abortion, so they want to rally and protest. And, I, and when you talk to them, and I did with some of them, they have had abortions themselves. They have their imbr- marriages are breaking up and all kinds of stuff. I'm like, well, nobody protesting you, right? <laughs> 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 and so I'm thinking, w- w- just think about it. Anti-abortion out there protesting, pro-abortion, pro-abortions, meaning people who are for abortion, out there protesting anti-abortion, and all they're doing are fighting one another. That's all they're doing. And both sides think that they are right. And then all they, if you got to want to do something about this abortion thing, contact your representative. You voted him in so that he can represent you in, this, in the system. Contact them. You're paying them. And say, hey, I'm, I'm anti-abortion. Vote against the pro-abortion law. And you don't have to fight with anyone. But people don't realize that they join groups and they forget that the fight is not against one another. It's inside of you. Because people don't pay attention to themselves. What a mess. But anyway. What about, no, it's just perfect that it happened after you said all that. And I say rock that clip to drive the point home. Alex Jones. So uh, despite all that, Alex Jones won his view to not Fall for the trap of violence. Do not fall for the trap of violence. Why is this from uh, X? Ladies and gentlemen, the most important thing to understand about what's happening in America and the world today is don't get violent. Don't have civil unrest that they'll call a civil war. Klaus Schwab and the globalists have said their plan is civil wars around the world or color revolutions that destabilize and destroy a country and then the globalists come in as the saviors. That's being done. They want a civil war in America. They've been pre-programming it everywhere. We do not want that. So I don't want any violence against any of the people that are shutting down InfoWars. I don't want to hear any talk about it. I don't want to 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 see any of it. I'm sure they'll provocateur some of these groups themselves and anonymously, you know, make threats to, against themselves to be victims. That's coming for sure. And for all people say, you know, violence is good. Our enemies want violence because they're losing the information war. They're hoping for violence. Do you understand if you study warfare in the modern system, violence is not the answer. So we're the victims, and I'm about to lay out what's happened. We're the ones being attacked. We're the ones being silenced. And so people ask how they can support us. I'm about to break it all down for you. Pray for InfoWars. Share the articles. Share the videos. Share them from all the places you find. Share them from Real Alex Jones on X. And just understand that we're being targeted clearly, it's overwhelmingly clear to me, by the deep state. And it's very, very serious. There's a lot of stuff that I can't talk about at this time for a lot of strategic reasons and other things that I'm trying to 
work with my lawyers and stuff. They've got some points that are right. I'm right some of the time. You know, when it comes to, I'm right most of the time. But, but the point is, is that <laughs> this is a very, very serious time in America. And we're winning the culture war. We've got to be cool and focused like Trump. We've got to pray for Trump. We've got to support Trump because this is a criminal takeover we're witnessing. They're the ones saying if Trump gets in, he's going to persecute them. Everything they say he's going to do, they're doing it at a rampaging speed. So do not be violent. Amazing advice. Perfect advice. And if you were to practice being aware and not being violent in little things in your own life, you wouldn't think of being violent in big things. You would see how to deal with it. That is perfect advice. And it's weird. They push anger and then use it against you. You don't want to be angry. And during this time, especially like this year, with election coming up, it's like a real big deal. You know what I mean? It's the, the control freaks who have been in control for so long, they want to control you. They don't want to let go. So don't get angry. And you say, Nick? I agree. Yeah, you. I just wanted to drive that home. It yeah. just fit. It just fit so perfectly with what you've been saying. Yeah, I, I really like what I, I didn't see the full thing there until now. What Alex Jones was saying, but he's warning you. They want you to be angry. Look at Maxine Water. She don't know. She's not aware of any Trump supporters somewhere in the woods trying to do anything. But she want it. She want to say it. She want to pretend it's happening so you can get mad and go do it. Isn't it crazy how the world can be so insane and and it could be even like world war? Yeah. But if you could just not get angry, you'd have a perfect life. It'd be perfect peace. War is not the answer. Only love can conquer hate. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for that, man. Yeah, no problem. Any more about it? No, that's everything right there. Uh, thank you. Alan Jones is right. And I would encourage you to work on if you haven't already started working on the anger within yourself to overcome it, to realize that anger is not of you, it's not you, it's not your, and it's not natural. And that is ne not necessary to be emotional. If you haven't already started working on yourself, I would suggest that you start doing that so that you can overcome the spirit of emotions. The so-called good one and the bad one, because the, the evil itself will, de will deceive you and make you think that love is normal. Love is a good anger. I love my family. I love my this and I love my that. And it'll make you feel good. And it'll make you think that that is normal and good. But it's not. It's just a setup for the bad feeling that's coming right after that.